Hello folks and welcome. So today's video is about this icon here called chat room or matrix. Um, I found quite a few articles today and a couple messages that says when I click that it locked up the welcome screen or they went here and they try to find it in the internet section or even do a search and it was missing. It's normally installed in web apps and you can see this one is blank. And I uh, had the same affliction because I tried to upgrade a laptop today and I saw the same thing. So I thought I'd do a video on how to create that icon so you can uh, get your chat room working. The first thing, uh, I'll mention this a couple of times today in this video, I'm not part of the chat room at all. I'm just showing you how to make this icon, folks. All right, so it's called Matrix. You can find it in the new features if you want to read about it. Some people may not even notice it, but if you click that, and your welcome screen locks up, you may want to look for matrix, M-A-T-R-I-X, and you can see it's not found. So I'm going to show you how to create that. The first thing I'm going to do though, is I'm going to go to Linux Mint's website. Today I produced a video on how to upgrade from Linux Mint 21.3 to 22. And the this is meant for those folks that are missing the matrix icon. If you're using the official release, in other words, the ISO for Linux Mint 20 do for a fresh install, you should have that matrix icon already. This is for you folks that do not. All right, here's the instructions, and I talked about that on my separate video. So this is the matrix help channel. Again, I'm not part of that, but I just, I'm, I needed the address. I got it directly from Linux Mint's website. So again, it's links, blog, down here. And that's what this looks like. Highlight the address field, right click and copy the link. Minimize this. Open up the web app tool, it's found in the internet section. If yours is blank, if you've never used this, I have lots of videos on how to use this tool. I even show you how to make an icon to your home router. Yeah, that's not a really something on the internet. But anyways, we're gonna do this for this matrix tool. So it's plus, type in the name matrix. And then click and right click and paste the link. If it finds the icon, go ahead and close your browser. You're done with the browser. If it doesn't find the icon, maybe go check to see if you're missing part of the end if you're doing a copy and paste. It's kind of hard to type all that in there. You can also change this icon. All right, so I'm going to install it just like the official ISL, which is in the internet section. So that would be that. Leave that alone, navigation bar you want, and hit OK. Close this, and your new icon should be right here. You can open it to test it out. And you'll get the privacy notice. Once you clear that, you won't see that anymore. And then you can uh, answer the question, and then you can sign up. One more time, I'm not part of the chat room. I'm just showing you how to make the icon, okay? And again, I actually had this problem where I had clicked on this icon here and it locked up the welcome screen because it was missing from the upgrade on the official release or the regular ISO from full install it installs it just like I did it'll look exactly like this except the address will be this but the address goes to the same place Sam is just a made-up name I actually copied this from the uh, official release and I wanted to let you see that I'm going to copy this and then open up a browser and paste it in the address field to let you see where it goes. It goes to the same spot, it converts the address. So that is their chat room. Okay. So you can use the one on the Linux Mint's website if you want to recreate that. You may have to go through some other stuff. I heard another user uh, was dealing with font issues. There's all kinds of things we can reinstall there. Thank you for watching.